Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for being here. I'm bringing you guys a reading today and this is going to look at, are they seeing someone else? So we are gonna get straight to the point. I have all the shuffled cards here for each pile, one, two, or three. I tried to get as creative as I could with the objects, but I am running out of new crystals, so I need to buy new ones. So pile one is going to be this green candle, pile two, the black candle, pile three, my Palo Santo stick. Go ahead and choose whichever one you are intuitively drawn to. Thank you guys for being here, by the way. Um, I'm almost to my next goal, which is 4,000 subscribers. So if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So that's it guys, timestamps will be below and I will see you at your pile. Hello, pal one. If you chose this green candle, this is gonna be your reading. So is this person seeing someone else? Let's take a look. We're gonna get straight to it. We have card 33. Horse spirit, freedom is yours. I love this card, by the way. Reduced to a six. We also have communicate clearly. We have barrier. We have the 10 of cups, knight of pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. You guys had a lot of tarot cards that came out. And the Six of Pentacles. So we have 666 six, six here as a theme in your reading. So I wanna clarify this barrier. What is this barrier about spirit? What is this barrier about spirit? Okay. We have the tower. And we have the Hermit card. I'm gonna say no for this person. And I feel like there is just a miscommunication here with this card coming out. And it seems like maybe you are thinking the worst of this situation here with the horse spirit. It says freedom is yours. And I feel like there's a message here that you are maybe keeping your stu yourself stuck in this negative thinking pattern when you don't have to. And so there's this energy that freedom is yours and that there is like a miscommunication here. And there is this barrier between the two of you guys because there is unclarity about this situation. I feel like this person really respects you and that they have a lot of love for you. This could be someone from your past, a soulmate, someone you've known your whole life here. But we have like a lot of water, we have earth as well. And so I feel like this person is looking for stability um, in this connection and they are willing to give equally to you as you are to them. But there is, again, some energy here that there is a miscommunication here. Um, and that is the only, I think, barrier between the two of you guys. And so if you have experienced a lot of tumultuous relationships or have been disappointed in the past, there is an energy here to communicate your feelings to this person. Because I feel like once you communicate that, it's going to completely shift this relationship completely with the Tower card. And it's going to put you in a very harmonious, balanced, loving connection here um, with this person. Because I do see a lot of potential here for you and them that's coming through here. So let's go ahead and get, that was an easy one, <laughs> file one. So it is a no for you guys. Let's go ahead and get um, a card here. Yeah. Look at that burden of tears card 21 um, reduced to a three so we have lots of threes and sixes in your reading um you are definitely carrying on to something in from your past that is maybe just affecting this connection and there is i'm getting a message there is no need to burden yourself with this because whatever you are thinking the worst in the situation 
it's not it's not really what's happening here and so um communicate clearly to the person of how you are feeling and i feel like things will automatically shift and change so pal number one that was your reading guys let me know how it resonates if you are interested in a personal reading follow my etsy link below take care guys All right, so pile two, you guys chose the black candle. This is gonna be your reading. So we're gonna get straight to it. It's gonna be yes or no. Um, is this person seeing someone else? Are they snooping behind your back? Let's take a look. Well, we have destruction. Hmm. We also have Surrender Now, card 39, Moth Spirit, reduced to a 12. We have Wait. We have Get More Information. We have The Star. We have Death, Rebirth and the Ten of Swords. So I'm seeing here for this one that there is some sort of loss and destruction here, like a tower moment here and with the death card as well. So I feel like, yes, there might be something here hidden, other vices, other people that you are unaware of and it might be a good idea to try to get more information in this situation whether from this person or to maybe do your research with other people or if you know you know friends of friends that know this person there is an energy here that if you are you know thinking about pursuing more of a relationship with this person or if you are already with them um, there is an energy here to wait and that there is something here that is hidden from you about this connection. But the Ten of Swords is about an ending, a very painful ending here. And I feel like whatever you may find out about this person, it's gonna cause you know you to walk away from, from them. And so um, the Star card though is quite hopeful here. And I think this is more of your energy of you hoping and you were really positive about this connection. But I am definitely seeing here that there is a loss. There is some sort of tower moment that might happen that will put you into this ending energy here. The Ten of Swords is quite painful. Um, so I do feel like you will have to get more information from other people or even ask them directly if they are, you know, who is this person? Are they seeing someone else? And um you know gathering more information on your end so this one pile number two i feel like is a yes here let me get a couple more cards here this one to this person yeah we have the devil card Yeah, we have the Two of Swords. So this could be something that you are maybe you are you've ignored maybe some of the red flags because this person has been very romantic. Maybe they've been showering you with a lot of gifts or flowers, and it's been you know hard to really see the truth about this person. But I'm seeing, um, yeah, look at this. This is popping out the Seven of Swords here. There is some dishonesty here and something that you don't know and something that's behind the scenes. So. Be careful with this person. I feel like there is um, something that you are not aware of that will become more known to you in the next couple couple days or couple weeks. So let's go ahead and get advice for Pal 2 Spirit. And there it goes, it flew off the table. Yeah, look at that pile number two, physical pain, um, card 29 reduced to an 11, so that might be significant to you. 
but I feel like if you go down this route with this person, it's going to cause a lot of pain. Um, it might, you know, break your heart. It will probably break your heart actually. And there is this energy of a warning, I feel like, from your spirit guides to, you know, be careful with this person and to get and to ask questions, you know, if you have the opportunity, get more information. So pile two, if that didn't resonate, choose a different pile. I'm sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, pile three. If you chose the Palo Santo stick, um, this is going to be your reading. So let's get down to it. Is your person that you're thinking of seeing someone else? Let's take a look. Well, there we go. The answer is no. <laughs> so let's get the other cards. Think on your feet. Fox Spirit card 27 reduced to a nine. We have no need to worry. Okay, I already feel like no, this person is not. We have the Seven of Wands. Let's see what else is going on. We have the Five of Cups and the Nine of Wands. So what I'm hearing is no, I don't feel like they're seeing someone else, but the reason why you might be feeling that way is because this person might be kind of distant or you feel like you know, you're having a hard time connecting with them emotionally. And it's because they've gone through maybe a recent loss or they've just experienced a lot of loss in their life. And it's been a struggle, I think, for this person to really stay afloat. And so I feel like there's more, the issue here is timing versus them, you know, not being interested in you. Because I do feel like they are, but they are keeping you kind of at a distance because they are going through something, some sort of loss here. So whether you know that or not, that's coming through. But I don't think that you have anything to worry about if it comes, you know, when it comes to them seeing someone else. I'm not seeing that. It's pretty clear here. I mean, you guys see the cards. So let me get more cards here. This person. So why are they? What loss is this about for Pal 3? Yeah, look at that. I asked what loss this person was experiencing. We have the lovers, so it could be that they just got out of a relationship or there is someone that was is near and dear to their heart that maybe ended. So it could be platonic, romantic, it could just be like um, a parent maybe that died, that they lost. It doesn't have to be, you know, um, like this connection, romantic connection here. Page of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it seems like their life, this person's life has really changed, has done a 180, and I feel like it came really unexpectedly for this person. It could also be with the Page of Swords of what I'm getting here that they might have suffered a loss from losing um, a child. That's just what I'm getting for some of you, so only take that if it resonates. But there is a young energy here, and so I'm getting that as well that maybe this person has experienced, you know, a loss from um, someone like a child. We have judgment, we have queen of pentacles here, and we have the eight of pentacles, yeah. So I know this is diving into kind of them, but I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. I think that this person, the reason why you might feel that way is because they're also trying to focus on their finances at the moment here. So not only healing from whatever loss they've experienced, but also focusing on finances as well, um, or both. So that's something that you guys need to know with your person of maybe why they've been a little distant or kind of standoffish. It's not you, it's definitely where they're at in light and life and also timing. You know, the Wheel of Fortune can be about timing, things happening in divine timing here. So let's go ahead and get one more card. What does Pile 3 need to know, Spirit? Okay, 
well. That's interesting. We have a message of warning and a message of love here. So these are two completely opposite energies. We have card 33 and we have 34. So that's interesting. There is a progression. So I feel like with this card it could be telling you to maybe slow things down that right now this person is not ready for what you are wanting and then i feel like with this message of love this person will communicate how they really feel if you give them their space and so um i feel like right now it might be best to kind of step away from this connection give this person some time and I feel like when the timing is right, this person is gonna come forward with something more substantial for you um, of what you are wanting. So pile number three, that was your reading, guys. I hope it resonates. Let me know if you are interested in a personal reading. All the information is down below. Take care, guys.